be assuming that the folks in the south chunk go with Burien. So the um, uh, the sticking point for the council and for me, for that matter, uh, was whether or not we could come to West Seattle and Capitol Hill and Lake City and say that we're being made whole for the cost of that annexation. So it's going to cost more to serve that area than it brings in in tax revenue. That's true of every residential neighborhood in the city. And it's hard to tell people in West Seattle, well, we can't do everything we'd like to do in fixing sidewalks or whatever because we're annexing an area. Every other city in the state had a mechanism given to them where they were credited with the sales tax to make up that. Only cities over 400,000 were exempt. So we went to the legislature and we said, we're happy to do our part to, to, to you know, take on this responsibility if the people there want us, but we have to be made whole like everyone else. So that legislation passed and was signed by the governor. And uh, so I think the council will have that new information. And I believe with that, they'll be more supportive. Uh, they've been supportive in the past, but I think that was their sticking point. They didn't think the legislature would give us that uh, authority. And so we'll go back to them uh, and uh, make the case. They'll get to make a decision, and ultimately I think the people of uh, White Center will be able to make their decision. So do you envision the possibility that that area might have a vote come up in the within, oh, say, a couple of years or yes, something? Yes, I think so. 